what is up youtube it's your girl Miranda here back another episode of Baldur's Gate 3 so we finally make it to the city of Baldur's Gate sort of we're on the outskirts we're not actually in the city yet <laughs> uh, but in this episode we do get to learn a little bit more about Will's backstory and a lot more about Shadowheart's backstory because we have our our chat with Alien that we've been uh foreshadowing for quite some time now so I hope you enjoy the episode if you do make sure you leave me a like or a comment and if you want to watch more of my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough make sure you subscribe to the channel have a wonderful day we'll catch you all next time bye Will I um got some good news and some bad news for you God's be damned with that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc. Oh yeah, in the also your dad has a parasite in his brain Should now. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Feyru. <sighs> the absolute's cult has Ravenguard. Well, where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. Uh, it serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Mazora said you can say what led to your pact in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first, a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I wouldn't give up my soul if that's what you're getting at. It is. And I did. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. I failed my religion check. Oh, well. Um, what's the cult of the dragon? I've never heard of them. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses. Oh. The dragon Tiamat. Tiamat. A ten day She's after the god of evil left, dragons. I heard a whisper as I slept. Uh, based on the Dusk real, uh, mythological the Tiamat, uh, uh I think it was Sumerian, I grabbed a rapier um, and mythology. Up. I forget, but it's like one of the, sky. it's like super old civilizations. Sumerians or Babylonians or there they one, were. one of those gathered at the foot of the um, hill your head tingles will wants to show you what happened all right let's 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 mind melt in the looming shadow of the mount five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem atop each totem a dragon's head is carved and a massive orb held in its mouth the cultists chant First soft yes, this is uh, this is the five E uh, There's a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give yeah. you the power Specifically, this takes place in the Forgotten Realms she universe, which is kind of like the default setting for D&D for &D 5e. But it is, it's explicitly uh, Forgotten Realms and she read the terms more specifically Sword Coast, stood witness, where Baldur's Gate is located. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. And what about your father, the Grand Duke? He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. The crossed arm stance. Yeah, there's a lot of that in this game. 
Uh, well, sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was but... right. The moment I brave. agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and yeah. oozed <laughs> the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her you must have been furious at your father for throwing you out of the city no never he did the only thing he could in his eyes i invited a devil into our midst i was a fool at best a traitor at worst and grand duke Ravenguard suffers neither do you miss your father more than you know the better question is did he ever miss me if he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. I'm gonna try once again to to romance my dear Carlac. No, Carlac, why won't you love me? <sighs> what do you know about me? Oh, now we get Shadowheart's backstory. You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. You told me about it. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. I'll open my mind. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Check. You already know. Did you it not was see her dad. yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. I'll help you. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. 
They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Oh. The Spear of Night? I thought that was cast into the Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is yeah, matched. I mean, they are two sides mirrored. of the same coin. Light and darkness. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <sighs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Poor Shadowheart. Oh, she's in She's been jerked around so she's much. She's so pretty! I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes... Sometimes I wonder. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. You've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal yourself. Hey, like, I can relate. Living living your, your whole life is a lie. <laughs> I can relate to that a lot. Indeed. <sighs> but the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me? We'll face it We'd together. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Oh? And what's that? You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Okay. Can I go to Baller's Gate now? We've been waiting for the fireworks factory for so long. <laughs> the curse has Here been we lifted. Go. The land's cleansed of the shadows. Catherick's reign of living death is over. Go. Oh. Game's having a hard time loading this, this scene. <laughs> Your courage has been tested, and in this, at least, you have triumphed. Yay, we lifted the curse on the lands. pretty but yeah that like that whole area that we were in for act two was like had like this like shadow curse on it and uh we lifted it by uh, defeating the um boss there this fucking guy this guy i'm gonna disembowel when i get a chance see he did my girl carlac dirty Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Worm's Rock is secure. Preparations for my inauguration. Oh, I'm supposed to go to Worm's Rock for some quest. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord. But there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the flaming fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following uh, and bowing and scraping. What's yes, happening? Sir. This seems no, very out of character sir. for her. Cut your throat, sir. 
Oh, Your it's, plan it's this girl. Falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. <laughs> this guy's like, oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. Bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to peel you. To split your skin. Oh my god. To see your skull I'm getting big S and M vibes from her. <laughs> Little tight. She's like a DD Cenobite. <laughs> for those Looking for, for any Hellraiser fans in the audience. I a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. <laughs> they will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh. But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blade. Very Shakespearean. That's again. clearly a reference to Macbeth. Or, I'm sorry, the Scottish play. <laughs> Actors are very superstitious about that one. This will suffice as a camp. I could sleep standing up just now. Oh, I love these two. Aw, heart. That was my very first emote that I made. Actually, no, that's not true. My boss nasty emote is the first one I made, but that is... Actually, all the emotes on my channel, I made myself. But I, I, I am fond of that one. Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence. One sleep away. Oh my god, speaking of sleep, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I need to I need to be up in like seven hours. 